We started in Brazil and today we are a global company. As we, we began in Brazil, it gives us the advantage to be very multicultural. I, I see maybe four points to achieve success. One is business comprehension. This is the first one. The second one is a digital mindset of the total company, mainly the leadership. The third one is the combination of many different technologies. It's not only one that you need. And the fourth one, maybe is the most important, the ability to execute. The biggest challenge of digital transformation is, is not technology. Of course, the ability to execute, as I, I've already said, is very important. But the main point is the mindset of the leadership, mindset of the, all, the whole company. Because everybody likes changes for others, not their, their changes. This is, I understand, this is the main point, that not working in a silos, working is in a real integration, and a real, what we call, agile development, and uh, squads, working everything together. That is the main challenge for any digital transformation. We strongly believe in entrepreneurship. Our DNA is giving autonomy to the leaders to take risk, to take the decisions. We understand this is the, the best model, mainly nowadays. What happens when you talk about a big company? Big company is not a flat organization, it's a very hierarchical organization that any entrepreneur, any startup hate this. That our model is giving them that we can balance autonomy but also structure, experience uh, and or a better organization, better operations for them that we can combine the two best uh, approach. And in the end I understand entrepreneurship give or brings to the model agility, flexibility that is so important today, time to market. I think that to keep uh, consistent growth in the last uh, 20 years, I think it is, it is again a combination of many factors. One is always we try to improve ourselves. We always are reflecting about us, how we can be better, the first one. The second one is we are usually a very solid financial institution. When we, there, is, there are a uh, uh, crisis, we can uh, face to them in a soft way because we don't have any issue about financial. Okay? The third one is keeping the people hungry. That is so important that they always looking for more. That this is, I think this is part of DNA. And Last one is always see a half full glass. That's always, you know, and I, I think is for the next years, it, it will be common, a lot of change, crisis, and it's very important to see opportunities when you see in the middle of a, a crisis or problems. I think the answer is seeing a half full glass. That's when you use the people, when you have an issue, a big issue, a problem, or a crisis, always there are some hidden opportunities. And this is the time that to take risk and to, to do some bets. Yes? For example, uh, in, the, in 2009, 2010, uh, I, I had a, a dinner with a very, uh, is a banker in US, very high level, 
And they asked me, why you are investing in U.S. and Europe? Uh, because everybody was investing in BRICS, yes? But for us, the market always uh, was U.S. and European because they are developed countries. And uh, we have to invest when the people are not investing because the price is going down. But of course you have to take risks. Sometimes we are correct, sometimes not. Because if you invest in the times then only the people are investing, the assets will be so high. You are investing the wrong time. That's you have to take risk in the in the end, and sometimes we can be right or not. Decision to invest. I understand it's a very important mix between uh, data, numbers, statistics, but also feelings. That is important. This is the first one. The second one is seeing a long-term vision. Usually, most of the executives or leadership see only the next quarter, the next three or four, uh, or four quarters. And we have to see a long-term vision because sometimes in a, in a short term, it's not a good decision, but long term, yes. And we, we always think in a long-term vision. We are very focused in investing in digital companies. The, the last seven, eight years, we are only investing in digital companies. In the beginning, most of them, or almost all of them, were uh, very small because we work with, in the B2B business. Okay? Now, the size of the companies is, is growing because the market is bigger and also we are investing more okay and of course us is still the largest market in digital market by far and we are very focused in growing here uh, faster this is our main target today there are certain areas that we are we are pay attention more that's for example uh, uh, digital digital marketing uh, this is one very important area. The other is banking. Today we have a very good uh, uh, digital financial solution that uh, they are very based in, in Latin America. We, we, our plan is extended to North America. Then we understand we can complement with some acquisitions in US. The other one is in cybersecurity is another hot topic. Okay. And last one is agile development. And all of these areas, the companies could be a mix. Based client, US clients, but in US uh, uh, delivery, but also combining with uh, near shore or offshore delivers. I think our, we have many lessons learned from the pandemic times. And some people asked me why I began a, a global company. And the part of the answer is 